Hi everybody, it's Tali for treehousechatter.com. Thank you for watching. Happy Earth Day, everybody. 2013, I'm very, very excited. So I have to do a video on Earth Day, of course. Uh, it's my favorite day of the year. It's also my vegan anniversary. I've been plant-based now for three years. I feel amazing, I feel wonderful. And I uh, wanted to thank the Green Festival as well in New York City. There was a lot of things going, over, uh, going you know, all around New York. But uh, I went to the Javits Center to the Green Festival, and it was incredible. I met up with some vegan friends of mine. We walked around the whole place together, and I met such interesting people doing really inspiring work, creating such positive changes in the world. I'm totally, totally inspired. Ate my way through the entire day. There were so many great samples and, uh, you know, bought some co really cool products. And I I'm really excited because now I have different reviews to do for weeks and weeks on end. So really cool stuff coming your way. Stay tuned. Uh, so today for... Uh, Earth Day. I want to keep it really, really positive, but I do, I want to highlight uh, genetically modified organisms, GMOs, but I, again, I want to keep it positive. So I don't want to be angry and rant about it. I just want to explain it a little bit because I know that everybody knows this GMO, GMO. It's every, everywhere. We're reading articles about it. Uh, we wonder sometimes you pick up an apple from somewhere like a deli and you're like, this is probably genetically modified. I don't know, you know, and what's so wrong with genetically modified anyway, you might wonder, because there's just so much out there and it could get overwhelming to read these articles and figure out what's really going on. So I just wanted to explain it a little bit. Um, and I'm inspired to do that also because I passed by uh, gmoinside.org. They're this great organization. Whoops. They're a great organization. I've been following them now for a while, and I got one of these sticker sheets. Uh, I knew that they made these, and I've always thought they were really cool, and I've always wanted them, so I was really excited. <laughs> um, they're, since genetically modified organisms don't have to be labeled in the supermarket, uh, they give out these stickers, so you can go label them yourself. It says, caution, may contain genetically engineered ingredients, GMO inside. Um, you know, truth be told, I probably will not be using these. I really respect uh, business owners and I don't want to go in there and do something that's going to hurt their business or just disrespect them because they're only ordering this product because people are buying it. There's a demand for it. So it's on us as well to do the research and know what is genetically modified and stop buying it. If we stop buying it, they'll stop ordering it. And if they stop ordering it, hopefully the company will realize, hey, we need to stop using genetically modified organisms in our food, in our product, because nobody's buying it. I know that these labels do help and it absolutely should be labeled, but it's not. But I still think it's cool. So maybe I'll use it someday. Um, again, probably not, but I like that I have it now. So uh, I made some notes here on uh, genetically modified organisms, and I'm going to talk about it, um, try to make it as quick, quick and easy as possible. So why am I reviewing uh, specifically from GMO Inside? They're such an amazing organization. They're making this really uh, solid, focused effort to educate people and families on what GMO means, why we should stay away from it, what is so wrong with it. And that's why I follow them. That's why I think they're so wonderful. So in addition, the vast majority of soy crops, corn crops, cotton, alfalfa, what else is there? Uh, papaya, alf uh, I said alfalfa, beets. Oh, and of course the aqua bounty salmon. Everybody is talking about it, calling it frankenfish and all those sorts of things, uh, which is coming soon. It's not out yet, but it is coming very, very soon. It's genetically modified, and again, you don't know where it's coming from. It could be in your box of cereal. It could be anywhere because soy, especially soy and corn, they're in everything. There's so many different uh, things that are derived from corn that are derived from soy, and it's cheap, and it's easy, and they put it in everything. So what does that really mean, GMO? So genetically modified organisms are plants or animals that have been tampered with, they've been 
genetically engineered, so you might also hear the term GE, it's genetic engineered. It's a biotechnology that uses gene splicing to bring different species uh, together and they combine them and it creates this really unstable product of an animal or a plant, uh, bacterial and viral. And we just don't know the effects of that. It And in addition, not only do we not know the effects of it, but it cannot occur in nature on its own. Uh, it's not like crossbreeding where you would get this funky fruit or, um, you know, the cross between like a melon and an orange or whatever they have out there. They have these really interesting fruits now and a seedless watermelon and um, that's crossbreeding. And that is not what genetically modified organisms is. I know that I was confused about that as well. Uh, that's been going on for years and years and years. But this cannot occur in nature. This is completely tampering with something. And the problem is that we're really lab rats. We're really just eating this stuff and waiting to see what happens down the road. We don't know its effects on our body. And I really believe that if it doesn't occur in nature, if it's not happening that way, naturally, we should not be eating it. The planet is providing us with plenty of delicious, wholesome, nutritious food to eat on our own. It is not necessary to, to tamper with anything. It gives us everything. So, you know, why go there? Uh, that's what it is in a nutshell. And if you want more information, you can go to gmoinside.org. They have really great articles. You can sign up for their newsletter. You can sign some of their petitions. Get involved if you want to get involved or just be more aware. Uh, that's how I like to be um, and know that, uh, you know, unless a product specifically says certified non-GMO, it could have it in it. It's the same thing with certified organic, you know, writing natural on a box of cereal doesn't mean anything. Certified organic means it has a legal standard to it, as does certified non-GMO. So stick with that and you'll be really happy because you're not playing around with your body on the inside. And uh, uh, this is Medusa, by the way, my plant. Uh, you've probably seen her in some of the videos, but because it was Earth Day, I wanted to give her center stage background and uh, include her because she's very feisty and awesome. I've had her for almost a year and uh, she's just wonderful. She got a new uh, pot from the flea market the other day and compost soil from the Union Square Farmers Market. So she's really, really happy. Uh, it's Earth Day. Happy Earth Day. Um, stay tuned. Uh, go to treehousechatter.com if you want to check out my website and uh, for a lot more videos, a lot more articles, and there's gonna be some more videos coming up uh, next week, so stay tuned, and let me know if you have any questions. All right, happy Earth Day, bye.